This is week five, final assessment, weighted averages, ratios, and proportions. First one there, they cross, multiply, and divide it. Okay, so I have 17x is equal to 40 times 22. 40 times 22 is 880 divided by 17. Into the ratio is a fraction in lowest terms. So I have here 3 feet for 80 seconds. So they, they want it in... Uh, as inches per second. So I have to convert those inches into uh, those feet into inches. So one foot is 12 inches. So I'll multiply both sides by three. So three feet is 36 inches. So I have 36 inches is to 80 seconds. I divide my numerator by denominator by four. And I have nine over 20 as a fraction there in lowest terms. Question three, jo Johan is trying to uh, mix paint and create a custom color green for his car. For every 11 gallons of, of blue, he, has, he needs seven gallons of yellow. Fill in the ratio table for each amount. So the first one there, we have 11 is to seven as X is to 14. So I cross multiply. 11 times 14 is 154. And I divide both sides by 7. X is 22. Then the next one there I have. Uh, I have there is 11 is to 7. 11 is to 7 as 33 is to. As 33 is to X. Here. And cross multiply and divide. 7 times 33 is 231 divided by 11. X is 21. And my last one here, I have 11 is to 7 as 11 is to 7 as X is to 28. Across multiply, I have 11 times 28 is 308 divided by 7, which is 44. That's my answer there. This one, they want us to find the ordered pair. So I have my ordered pair, the X coordinate and the Y coordinate. So this represents a set of points that have the X coordinate six. This one here along the Y represents the Y coordinates where Y is 26 and where they cross. It's the ordered pair, 626. Question five, Captain Brain and Mr. Pinky are taking the Alvin submarine down to the Titanic. After it is sitting for nine hours, they are 567 feet below the surface of the water. What is the rate of the, what is the rate of the submarine? So you have 567 divided by nine. I divide numerator the denominator by nine. Rate of descent per hour and end up with 63 feet per hour. Question six, which is the better deal? Comparative pricing. So I have here 296 for six ounces or 369 for eight ounces. I divide numerator the denominator by six to get the unit per unit ounce. And I have 0.443 here per ounce. For the other one, I have 0.46 per ounce. So the first ones are cheaper, 269 for six ounces. Question seven, for the unit price if necessary, round, find the unit price if necessary. Round your answer to the nearest cent if you enter an answer like 49 cents per pound with 49 in the first box and pound in the other. And it's because I have $8.09 for six kilograms. So I have my, 
my quotient there. I had to find my numerator and denominator by six. I ended up with a dollar thirty-five for one kilogram. Question eight. Someone offers you two thousand seven hundred twelve dollars for five forty hour weeks. How much is that per hour? So five times four is two hundred. And the amount of dollars is twenty seven and twelve. You divide that, you know, by thirteen dollars and fifty cents per hour. Number nine, last week you worked forty hours and earned four hundred and ninety. How much is that an hour? So I divide it. Uh, uh, 490 divided by 40, divide my numerator, the denominator by 40, I end up with 12, uh, 25 per hour. Mm -hmm. A 27 bottle of dish soap sells for 743. A 32 ounce of bottle of dish soap sells for 934. Find the unit price of each. So for the first one there, 27 ounces for 743. Find the unit price, divide by numerator, denominator by 27, end up with 28 cents per ounce. Then I do the second one there. What is that? Uh, 32 ounces for 934. And divide by numerator, denominator by 32, end up with 29 cents per ounce. So the cheaper one is uh, 27 ounces for 743. In Chicago, the tax on the property was assessed at uh, on $290,000. How much is $4,060? If the rates are proportional, how much tax would be on $870,000? So I set up a proportion. Tax for the home is $4,290. X for $870. And you select the correct one, then you can go ahead and solve it for X. You should end up with $12,180. Question 12, solve the proportion and cross multiply and divide. You end up with 18. Uh, 5x is equal to 10 times 9. 5x is equal to 90. x is equal to 90 divided by 5, which is 18. The last one here, question 13, a student's average grade in homework is 80. Test 1 and test 2 have scores of 90, 7, and 91. The final project grade is 66. If your homework is worth 20%, test of 10% and project is 25, what is students average? So of that um, homework, they captured 80% of it. Plus of the first test, they captured 97% of it. Of the second test, they covered, they captured 91% of it. And then of, of that final project, they captured 66% of it. And they added those together and it gave them 51.3 points divided by the total uh, total weight, which is 55, gives them a 93.2 average. Okay. And that's the end of that one there.